Yeah. I'm here with Christian Kristevsky after a crucial 1-0 win over Brunswick City. Christian, we needed that and we delivered. <laughs> yeah, we definitely needed it, didn't we? Um, yeah, big, big, uh, I'm very proud. I think that's the that's the uh, best way to describe it. I'm proud of the boys and they're putting the work. They worked really hard this week. We needed to bounce back from from the performance that we had, uh, obviously, in our catch-up game, which we spoke about. Um, and, you know, it's always tough to do it behind closed doors as well, where you lose what I think is one of our biggest advantages, which is our home fans. Uh, but the boys dug deep and fought right, right until the end. And, yeah, they proved why they're, they're in the mix to, to be promoted. I think we could hear the fans from across the road when the goal went in, mate. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. There was a few bodies on top of me, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could hear them or if I could hear. I don't know. Maybe Jeg's on my shoulder or someone like that. Um, one of the boys on the bench, but yeah, it was really good. Again, you know, we scored a goal from open play, which is excellent to see. We always love to score a goal in that way rather than having to rely heavily on the the set pieces or. You know, those sort of mistakes from opposition. So it was good to see that we created something. And uh, as I touched on with you and a couple of the other guys in the last sort of 10 minutes, we created lots of chances, um, probably deserving of another one or two goals. So it's really good to see. Yeah, I mean, it could have been four, to be honest. But, you know, I think Brunswick City goalkeeper is in an inspired mood and the ball wouldn't go in the back of the net, particularly at the end there with the wears. Unbelievable. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it was it was almost a sure thing. You thought everyone was going to be running up the touchline celebrating together. But, again, it's good to see that we're getting into those positions. And for me, that's, that's really important. Um, but, you know, on the opposite side of the game and something we need to point out, as, as you did... Um, we we kept a clean sheet today against an opposition that has been uh, scoring lots of goals against good opponents as well. You know, they've played against top four and I think they've had positive results against pretty much all of them. Um, so it's good to see we were able to defend the game for large parts really well. Um, we were probably a little bit shaky towards the end. Uh, but yeah, look, Bon had an excellent game. We come back in and uh, I thought our back four were, were excellent today. We obviously... Chain, we got to see Valenti again as well, which was really good and really positive. So, yeah, I'm happy for the boys and, and proud of the overall performance. Uh, our first clean sheet in, I think, 15 games. So it's been a long time coming. And you can see how much it meant to Az and to Jake at the back. They were celebrating, you know, those block shots late on like they were goals. Yeah, and look, that's probably something uh, we didn't put as much emphasis on early in the year. And as the year developed, it was something we started to focus on and I guess that happens as you start to learn the group and, and what, what the group needs and the individuals require uh, and yeah it's great to see that they're as passionate about blocking a shot as, as we are for scoring a goal and end of the day if we do that part of the game properly we're halfway there um, and I trust, trust us on the other end of the pitch almost every time. Well there was a, a bit of a feeling of dread when seven minutes went up on the fourth officials board but you know we were made to earn it and, and we did earn it. Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, referees make decisions based on what they see, so I can't criticise them. And I'm sure when I go back through it and I'm going through it with Max, we'll find that seven minutes. <laughs> but in the moment, it doesn't feel like that, obviously. Uh, but what was what what I uh, stood out to me, I should say, was our whole bench, our whole 11 players, when, no, we're going to stand up to this and we're not going to stop uh, and we're going to be relentless. And they were. And that's why they got the result. They didn't look at seven minutes and put their heads down and go, oh, we've got to defend for seven minutes or we have to put in. And, you know, like we just said, we created chances in those seven minutes too. So very well could have scored another two or three goals and run away very comfortably. Uh, so, yeah, my, my, my biggest message to the group will continue to be we, we can't stop for the, for the remainder of this week. And we have such an excellent opportunity. And all the better because next week... We will be away from home with a home crowd, I think. Um, and I hope all those, you know, all our supporters get down to Langy because it's something uh, I know the club has been trying to achieve for a long time. And we're one game away and we need all of them there and we need to do it together and celebrate together. Well, the last time we went on the road and earned promotion, it was away at Frank Holhan against uh, Melbourne City, in fact. Um, and that was a special, special night. So an opportunity here to create some memories away at Lawton Park against Lang Warren and it's in our hands still which is so crucial we know what we have to do 
Yeah, look, it's it's been a big message or, you know, you can ask most of the players. We keep saying that it's about us. The, the goals we score are because we're doing the right things and the goals we concede is probably because we're doing the wrong things. And those games we win are because of us and the games we lose are also because of us as a result. So, you know, we're going to focus and keep sticking to our processes because they've been good. It's what's earned us the opportunity to play for, for promotion. Um, and I can't think of a better way to bring it home at Lawton Park in front of, I'm going to say, our travelling fans instead of our home fans um, and, and make it a really special day for us all next Saturday. I can't wait. Well, you don't want to miss that one. One game to go, win and we're up. The equation is simple. Away we go to Lang Warren next week. 3 p.m. Saturday kickoff. We'll see you all there. Christian, congratulations, mate. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.